My dearest Lisa, ever since I walked since I saw you walk out of the elevator. <laughs> My dearest Lisa, ever since I saw you walk out of that elevator at 942 Young, I was ever so hopeful that this day would become a reality. Dear Anand, I can't believe this day has arrived after all the preparation and anticipation. I have pictured walking down that long church aisle in my white dress 100 times, looking up at you in those moments before we say, I do, and we start our life together as husband and wife. I am still floored by the grace and class you exude to the world and I revel in the private silliness that has become our normal. I feel so close to you already, which is a testament to the intimacy of our relationship and how well we have integrated into each other's lives in two short years. That seems so much longer. I have seen so many different sides of you. The fact that you are so multidimensional is one of the things I love most about you. I know that there are many more layers to uncover, and I'm excited to experience a rich and deep relationship over a lifetime. You still take my breath away when you walk into a room. I cannot wait to see you when the doors open at the back of the church and you walk towards me. Let's always take the time to reflect on these special times. When we fell in love, when the love grew, when we chose each other, when we committed to sacrificing for each other in front of our closest family and friends, according to God's amazing plan. I, Anand. I, Lisa. Take you, Lisa. Take you, Anand. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as, long as, we, as we both, both shall live. I cherish your support and unwavering faith in me in everything I do. I love you, my sweet, and I can't wait to be Mrs. Koshi. Love, Lisa. I love you. Yours forever, Anand.
Today, we are witnesses to one of life's greatest pleasures, adventures and challenges, marriage. Some say it's outdated. Some say it's only a piece of paper. Both are entirely wrong. On it, I remember when Lisa first told me about him. It went something like this. Ty, I met this guy. I said, tell me about him. He's an engineer. I said, okay. He has an MBA from Western. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's athletic, and he can beat you at tennis. We'll see about that. <laughs> and then she said, he's also a leader at his church. He's the one. When can I meet him? Um, you're someone that I have always admired ever since I met you, and continue to admire. Your ambition and your drive with what you want to do with your career, coupled with your values and your principles that are so biblically based and family driven is fantastic. That's something that I thought I would never find, the combination of those two till I met you. And it's one of the things that drew me to you and continues to draw me to you. Uh, when we started dating, On had mentioned that he had been in a Christian band and I knew of his skill as a singer, and I said, I want to hear you sing. And Anand said, the only time I'll sing to a woman is on my wedding day. And this was probably three months in, and I was thinking, I hope I am that woman that he sings to. And today, I got my wish, and I was so incredibly excited.